Hey guys, so this is another still good video. This time it's for Crowley. And one of my viewers uh, requested this video to be made, so why not? There's no reason not to. So let's talk about her skill real quick. Fast speed, super important to note. Very powerful with her. Attacks the enemy to mark them. Then attacks five random enemies, dealing a total of 616 damage. Well, that's a really high amount of damage, by the way. For a fast hero, yeah. But if the random attack hits the marked target, then increases damage dealt by this attack by 25%. So super powerful stuff, guys. Very nice. So this pretty much means that the more uh, times the, those little knives uh, actually uh, hit the target that is marked, the more damage it's going to be doing there in that situation. So very important to note. So if that's m many targets, uh, it's not going to do so much damage. However, if it's one single target, hence b single bosses, things like that, uh, she does, pr does pretty crazy damage, guys. Very powerful stuff. So th that's very important to note for her. Uh, but it doesn't matter in in different situations. You are able to actually do a lot of damage, even if it's multi-targets. Multi and I'm going to show you a little bit about that a little later. So, Awakenings. The plus one enhances the skill uh, uh, attacking five additional random uh, enemies. So, it pretty much it's going to do the same damage, but it's going to be uh, hitting more random targets in that situation. The plus 2 is 6% plus critical chance by 10%. So this is definitely 100% like a <laughs> pretty obvious attack hero. And using crit, of course. The plus 3 ignores 20% of the enemy's defense. So this awakening is a lot ignored a lot. Because this, this plus 3 actually makes the enemies uh, act as if they have 20% less uh, less defense, but it's it's not going to be a debuff. It's just something that if she does the damage, she's going to do the 20% uh, uh, enemies uh, defense in that situation. So very powerful stuff, guys. The plus four is the same as the plus two. And the plus five. Oh, my God. Okay, if there's anything that is worth mentioning in this video is getting this freaking plus five. Enhance the skill effect. Damage dealt to the mark target increases by 600 freaking percent of the in initial damage bonus. Oh my god. These <laughs> so this awakening right here revolutionizes this hero so freaking much. There's no reason why not to get her to plus 5. I mean, if you have Crowley, yeah. If you're not, you, you can awaken her by events. I mean, yeah, you can wake her up by events. Yeah, so you gotta get her at plus five. Because, uh, yeah, she's gonna do so much more freaking damage as plus five. It is absolutely disgusting, guys. So, now let's take her to a spin real quick. And w there is no better one to actually test this out in Purple Titans Inferno. <laughs> so, out of the out of all the titans in the entire game this by far is the easiest for me and i'm going to show you why you may be asking why i have apollo uh with damon's weapon well my apollo is plus five and uh adding 30 percent crit from his plus five and 40 percent from apollo yeah very powerful stuff so that's 70 percent right off the bat so i really dig that in that situation so, uh, real quick on, on uh, Crowley's weapon, I am using her weapon in this situation, which will give her 50% crit chance. However, this is 50% plus the 20% from, from her awakening, from, from the plus 2 and the plus 4. And on top of that, I'm putting 30% uh, from, from Apollo's uh, plus 5 uh, uh, awakening there. So, I'm getting 100% crit chance. So, that is why I'm using her weapon pretty much straight off. <laughs> I mean... The, 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 that's that's 100% crit chance. I mean, yeah, no brainer. And of course, the the crit damage uh, raised there as well. So of course, I'm using uh, Ruby here to lower the the actual uh, defense and also raising the attack by 25% to the entire team. And everybody else is self-explanatory. So let's go, guys. All right, guys. Let's see if we can pull it off here. Alrighty. So I usually uh, activate. Uh, Arthur first to get that attack and defense up there and also Ruby here So I activate here Apollo to get the crit as I already mentioned and Also uh, Zeus here to be able to get the damage dealt here and check this out. I'm gonna put it slow So you can see how actually the ability for 
Probably here works. Look at all that critting. Look at that. That is amazing to watch, guys. Like, look, this guy is almost dead at, the, at this point. Let's see if we can actually do it before the heart comes up. Let's do Cro uh, Crowley one more time here. All on her own. Oh, I love looking at all that critting. Look at that. <laughs> this fight is over, guys. This fight is over. Let's finish with party time. Boom. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That is fr that is amazing to watch, guys. So since we have one more, uh, let's do it a little faster here. So I can show you how I usually do this. Nice. And very nice. Now we can do it freestyle here. And that's it. That's all she wrote pretty much. Oh wait. We we actually got the heart this time. Let's do it like this. And finish it out with Crowley. Why not? Boom. So pretty straightforward. Out of all of them. Of the all the Titans is 100 percent the easiest for me. Look at this. She did <laughs> twice the damage than everyone else. Well, more than twice in that situation. Well, someone's pretty much the, the twice. Anyhow. So, I did want to show you uh, also uh, the different setups that you can actually use her on PvP. Because on PvP, things are, are a little bit more different with her. Uh, so, uh, usually, I would put it like this. I usually like to play like this. Uh, and I put um, a Raphael here and oh wait, I do it like this. And then put this guy over here. So this way, uh, Crowley is able to be freed uh, from the the stunning elimination and immunity uh, from Raphael. And I add in uh, the stone weapon here for Apollo. So this is usually the setup that I like to use. Uh, you, as you can see, this team does not have any cleansing. It doesn't have any healing. So it really depends on Raphael reviving any enemies that dies and Apollo creating shields to every, everybody. But outside of this, this team actually goes straight to actually killing the enemy there. Uh, the best way to actually get uh, Crowley to do a bunch of damage in, in PvP when you're attacking. I don't recommend you using Crowley on defense. She is not good on defense. No matter how strong you think you are, she is not good on, on defense. On the attack, it's another story. So this is the way that, that I... Uh, this is the actual team that I've seen uh, Crowley perform the best. Specifically with Raphael. Raphael open up, opens up so much damage with Crowley. It's not even funny. The simple reason is... Shields with yellow has been such a huge problem, and Raphael takes care of that, even a plus zero. If you have Raphael plus zero, please stop ignoring Raphael. She's an amazing hero. She will break the shields, and Crowley will eliminate the target. <laughs> Usually, that's, that's what happens in that situation. Uh, the other variant of this type of team is actually using Lorenzo. There are certain situations if you, you will want to use Lorenzo here. Uh, not with this weapon, probably with another Raphael weapon or things like that. Um, there are certain situations like you really need damage here. If you're fighting against the Daemon, yeah, you may want to use this guy instead. That situation. But most of the time I use Raphael. Raphael is pretty awesome. Somebody dies, you'll revive them. And yeah, breaking the shields is key, even at plus zero, guys, as I mentioned. So I'm going to show you a fight uh, that I... Actually, I didn't plan to use this fight for this video because this happened really recently. But I do have a recording of me using this exact uh, attack team uh, versus a very, very powerful whale with not a lot of stacks uh, with one less hero. But still, it, it was a rough fight because it, it is a pretty rough, uh, tough whale. Uh, do focus on scene uh, when I use Ra I activate Raphael first to break shields and then using Crowley to bring in that damage straight to them. Because shields, remember guys, shields cut damage by 50%. So eliminating shields and piercing that damage through Crowley is key to victory uh, with playing with yellow. And not, not to mention uh, Apollo adds shields to your entire team. So check it out.
Get behind me now. Praise the light! Get behind me now. Always follow your heart. A breakthrough! It's hunt time! Focus, focus! Death follows! Get behind me now. Behind me now. So yeah, guys, you, you, what you saw when I actually killed Alia there, if I didn't have uh, Raphael there, yeah, uh, that would, would have not went the way you saw it. But that, breaking those shields and going straight to that uh, to that damage, straight to that Alia was um, was key to actually eliminating her in that situation. And it, it is a really tough whale, trust me. <laughs> I don't remember how much power uh, that player had, but it was a pretty powerful whale in that situation. So yeah, guys. <clears throat> now let's talk about uh, the weapon. I, <laughs> as I mentioned, I really like her weapon specifically. Her weapon. I love her weapon because of, of what I already explained. I'm able to get a hundred percent crit chance, uh, and that and with the different combinations and all that good stuff in that situation. However, if you don't, if you don't have an Apollo, by the way, uh. Something you have to remember about Crowley. Crowley is incredibly squishy. She is incredibly squishy. So if you need to use uh, a shield weapon, I don't blame you. You can use uh, this weapon here from uh, from Mildred. This is an amazing weapon. It will raise her deep. Look at that. Look at her defense. It's it's incredible. Went up incredibly high in that situation. So highly recommend that you actually use Mildred's weapon for her if you don't want her to actually die. However, that is if you don't have Apollo. If you do have Apollo, you don't need to actually put a weapon for shields and defense because the thing is that Apollo creates shields like losing 10% uh, HP uh, from when using the skill as pure damage, but then gains 25% shields off of mass HP. So yeah, so in other words, uh, Crowley is going to go off. Uh, she will lose 10% of her life. She will gain 25% shield, and with the damage that she's doing with, with lifesteal, she's going to get back that mana. So it's, she pretty much goes off and gets 25% shield. So in that, that case, you don't need a shield weapon. You don't need any extra protections. You just put a good attack weapon and make sure to you to have a good Apollo on your team. Th that, that, is, th that is one of the biggest recommendations I, I've given when playing yellow. You have to get Apollo. You have to get him as, as high as possible, and you have to make sure that he survives the fight. Super important. Like he's a must-have, a must-have. There's, there's, he, it, there's no 
it, it wasn't a coincidence that I that I added him on my top ten video as as the must haves and must haves. He revolutionized yellow teams by far and made Crowley not actually need uh, a weapon to protect her. So super important stuff, guys. So if you actually get a crit uh, a crit weapon and a, and a good Apollo, you're able to make Crowley overperform so much it's absolutely yeah it's not even funny guys super important stuff guys so as i mentioned all these all these awakenings that you really don't have to find a sweet spot in this situation because you can get her at plus five with events you just have to be cheap to play pretty much but once you actually get her to plus five you will not regret it this plus five is bonkers guys 600 percent yeah that is freaking insane guys yeah and the other competitor for damage is Sozer, so, so but he is a slow hero. Let's yeah, he'll go off a few times, but I mean, Crowley will go off every single freaking turn I, 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 by being a fast hero in that situation. And yeah, <laughs> I, I've seen so many players like uh, switching to, uh, to Crowley instead of Sozer for a good reason. Sadly, Crowley straight up replaces Sozer. Uh, in that situation so yeah guys highly highly recommend to get this hero at plus five and as i mentioned you have to you have to get apollo for sure i mean even at plus zero you give him a, a good shield weapon as well and he will do a lot of work for your team for sure guys but crowley yeah she is the number one bar done damage dealer for yellow in the entire game so if you have any any doubts about upgrading to plus five i mean don't don't please don't <laughs> that is yeah that, that's the, that is the best advice i could give you get it to plus five don't think about it just do it guys all right guys if you have any questions if you have any concerns please leave it in the comments and we'll talk about it all right thank you very much for watching guys have a great day Bye bye